Jason Mitz, Rob Thompson, The Blitz. It is The Blitz here on 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM. If you're on the go, slow down. In no rush. We're going to have us a happy hour. He's Jason Minix. I'm Rob Thompson. We are joined after a one-week hiatus by Mark Singleton of Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Welcome aboard, Mark. How are you today? Oh, man. This, this, you, I am unbelievably good. Unbelievable. Well, look at it. At what we're going to cook, I can certainly understand why. This is right up my alley. And as we discuss and talk about and you describe what you're making here at ESP in San Antonio, <laughs> this is something – I'm an idea man, Mark. You need to put this in a bag and start selling it. Just throwing that out you there. Know, I, 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 <laughs> I think that's going to be a real popular sentiment after you eat this. I, I, you know, it, it's mm-hmm. so funny. Our, our people described it to y'all as like pork rind granola with pecans and this or that and the other. And I saw that and I said, oh, my gosh, Rob and Jason aren't going to know what the heck I'm talking about. This is meat candy, guys. We are making meat candy tonight. It, this is, this is going to be one of your favorite recipes. And we figured out a way to make it without sugar and uh, and with some grape pecans. All right. So, so meat candy, you, we, we were texting earlier and you and, and talking and, and you called it uh, pork rind popcorn. So pork rind popcorn, meat candy. I mean, all of it's going to sound great on, on in, in a bag somewhere. But, but what are we doing? How do, how do we make this? So, you know, as usual, most of the recipes that we talk about are absolutely mark proof. This one requires a little bit of attention because all we're going to do is we're going to take a bag of our pineapple ancho pork rinds and open it up and put it in a stainless steel container. Literally, literally, we're going to take six teaspoons of, in this case, I used uh, stevia, monk fruit. Um, gotcha. And then I uh, used an artificial sweetener of sorts. Uh, can it be any yeah, artificial we're, we're sweetener or, or just stevia is the best one? You know, I like monk fruit um, because it has zero calories. It's really low in carbs, um, you know, and it cooks up well. But okay. if you want to go a little higher, I, I do a, one with a cobby and a little tequila like this. You oh, know, no tea, uh, if, if, you're, if you're just going to cheat a little, uh, a, 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 a tequila sunrise pork rind, I, I promise, Rob, <laughs> it's worth doing. So anyway, so we take the stick of butter. Remember. We take a stick of butter, we take six teaspoons of, 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 of stevia, and, and we put it on the stove. And, and, I, and I, James, uh, you've got some pictures there. And what you've got to do with that is you're kind of making candy here. So you're going to heat that pretty hot, and you're going to whisk it the whole time. So this is not something that you can walk away from, get distracted, and you're, you're whisking that sugar. And you're going to do that for about, well, till you bring it to a boil. Put it down on simmer. Continue to 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 to, to watch it uh, for about five minutes, and then it gets really easy. You dump in the vanilla. In my case, I dumped in a little vanilla, and then I wanted my pecan and my glaze to have some more ancho. So I took a, a like a quarter teaspoon of ancho chili. You can see the pictures up there, and dumped it in there. And then you put the pecans in, and once again, you're continually stirring this. All in all, it takes about ten minutes, and you continually stirring it. It gets kind of hot, kind of gooey, and you pour it over the pork rinds. Oh, there, there's a great picture of it in, in the bowl. You know, you're kind of making pecan candy, and then you pour it over the pork rinds, stir it, stir it, put it out on some parchment paper, guys, and I am not kidding you. This has got everything you want in a snack. It's sweet. It's hot. It's crunchy. It's bacon. It's got pecans. Um uh, Man, for you know, if y'all are like we are, we're still trying to do Friday night date night, even uh-huh. in lockdown. And, and and I've eaten all the popcorn I'm going to eat. This is much <laughs> better than popcorn. Now, I mean, when, it, you it, know, it, Mark, when when I've tried to do something like this, precision is not something that's often mentioned in my name when 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 we're paired together. I'm not a precise. <laughs> guy do when i'm making when i'm heating the the, uh, the mixture up that's going to be used as a glaze i mean how precise do i need to be do i need a thermometer or anything or am i going to eyeball this how exactly no. am i going to know when okay no you know you, you know of course i've got a candy thermometer rob but you know that's kind of the way i roll I, 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 if there's equipment <laughs> that to be bought it adds to the experience, of course brother uh, I, I mean uh but 
in this case, just just bring it to a boil and time it for five minutes and, and simmer it down. Yeah, yeah, just bring it to a boil, go five minutes. It, it, it's it's not any. We're not trying to get to the hard crack of the sugar. We're not trying to do something really technical here. Uh, but uh, it's mark proof. It, it, well, it may not be. I'm pretty sure it's rob proof. Uh, uh, now that you've decided, I'll prove your, it to your you. Intention I'll, to I'll prove it to you. <laughs> now, this is going to be absolutely <laughs> ideal when we get toward March Madness and all the things that are going on. Fill yourself a big old bucket. You know you're going to watch three, four games in a row. It, it, it's light. It's refreshing. It is keto friendly. And man, I'll tell you what. You've put we've put together some stuff that man it, it photos well. This photo, is it, oh. is it a crispy shell that the glaze creates over the, the pork rind? Because the, gl the glisten to it looks like nothing I, I, I expected to see. Oh, yeah, that, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glaze. It's got chunks of pecan stuck to it. It's got our, our, our really great pineapple ancho seasoning. And I know I'm doing this on radio, but there we go. It's still crunchy. It's still was, crunchy. It's, it's bacony. Now you fry all it's your right. pork rinds in, in sunflower, you, you, and, be, and it comes out a, a very crisp and dry pork rind. And one of my concerns was if I put that liquid on, I might, you know, affect the pork rind. But that doesn't occur, right? It just kind of glazes over and gives it good and crisp. It changes it again, Rob. I mean, I mean, you know, it's like when when fat hits fire, right. like a thousand new compounds are made. Well, when this hot sugar hits the pork rind. We're doing something all together again. You know, that, that, that glaze is becoming something that I've really never tasted before. Jason kids around uh, about making it commercially, but I think about that all the time. I just can't figure out how to do it. There's One no, other thing I think uh, sounds really good. fantastic is it, the pasilla chili that goes, that pepper that goes along with the sugar. That is a great flavor to throw together with your pork rind, too. It's a very unique kind of profile that has a little bit of an Asian feel to it, but man, it doesn't get any better. That one chip leads to another. I'll tell you, it is, it's good. Either. Oh, oh and, well, this is the pineapple ancho. So you've already got that pineapple. That, and then and you're throwing bite. a baton. <clears throat> yeah, and then that sweet heat. And, you know, there's just something about sweet heat. It, it's one of those classic things. And, and there's actually, you know, I hate to get real scientific on you, but there's real science behind this because, you know, certain taste buds being activated, it, it activate certain areas of the brain, certain of physical responses and that sweet and that heat do two mm -hmm. things at once stimulate two of your brain areas at once it really uh it's just unique and, it, and it's one of the best things like i said try this one i promise you're gonna like it this recipe is super easy to make you know do pay attention you are boiling hot sugar you know don't <laughs> uh well, it, it's it's not idiot proof but it is it it, it is pretty easy it, it, and, and as we always say, Mark proof, and that makes it Jason proof and, and Ron proof. Now, Mark, uh, Pledger sends a message that a listener has called in, wants to know what kind of oil you're using to cook this in. Okay, so butter. That 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 oil that I melted that that stevia in was butter. Uh, you asked earlier what we cooked our pork rinds in. Small batches cooked in uh, sunflower oil. Yep. Uh, a lot of our other pork rinds that we make are cooked in lard. We just happen to think that uh, the sunflower gives it a real clean taste, as Rob mentioned. There's no smell when you open the bag, et cetera, et cetera. It, it, it just made a great taste of pork rind. So we're adding butter to this, and too? And the fat fantastic. a little bit. Yeah. yeah it, like flavor. I said, this is going to be the biggest surprise you guys ever make. It's a, it's a, you know, the rest of the stuff kind of makes sense. Topping this, that, and the other, using it as a, uh, instead of breading, you know, a candy glaze on a pork rind with on a pineapple ancho pork rind with pecans, it, 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 this is going to knock your socks out. It, like wow. I said, it's meat candy. You're going to love it. Meat candy, pork rind, popcorn. You know, with all the college basketball, we're all going to be sitting and watching over the the next month or so with the uh, tournaments, uh, the the conference tournaments, and then of course the NCAA tournament. This is going to be perfect. It's a great snack. Oh. 
family yeah, gatherings. Yeah, I, I, I can see wait. this on my Christmas tables. I can see this when everybody's around when we're all hanging out and doing what we do. I can see big bowls of the southern pork right now. Oh. It says on when you go to southernrecipesmallbatch.com for the recipe, it says sweet pork rind granola. We're just calling it meat popcorn. You call it whatever you like, but just go make it because <laughs> it looks absolutely fantastic. Mark, uh, once again, I am astounded and amazed, and I'm hungry uh, with the Southern Recipe Small Batch. Head over to HEB, pick up your pork rinds, cook them this way, head over to the website, Southern Recipe Small Batch, pork rinds.com. It's been a culinary happy hour, and we're just beginning. Mark, uh, thanks for stopping by, man. Hey, guys, y'all have a great week. I'm so looking forward to the big day. I mean, you know, this, this, is, this is when our year gets back to normal. Let's watch some it's basketball. It's feeling that guys. way. It's going to be absolutely bonkers improved on with Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Go get your sweet pork rind granola made. Or bet, call it popcorn, but just call it and make it. We'll do it again next week. Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. Head over to HEB. Fill your cupboard because it's good for you. It's keto-friendly, and it is wonderful. Hey.